The energy recovery system from Lightning Hybrids captures kinetic energy when braking, instead of just heating up the brakes, and then redeploys that energy on acceleration, which saves fuel, reduces emissions, and prolongs engine life. Instead of using electric batteries, which are too heavy, too expensive, and which charge too slowly for use in hybrid applications on large vehicles, we use a hydraulic approach, where energy from the vehicle's motion is used to pump hydraulic fluid, which compresses a bladder filled with nitrogen gas. The main components are as follows. A transfer case, which we call the Power Transfer Module, or PTM. This takes energy from, and returns it to, the vehicle's main drive shaft. One or more hydraulic motors, which can also operate as pumps. A valve manifold, which controls the flow of hydraulic fluid. A high pressure accumulator, which is the energy storage device. This uses an advanced composite construction to reduce weight. A low pressure accumulator, which contains the hydraulic fluid when energy is not stored and a real-time digital controller, which is the brain of the system. All of these components are rated for hundreds of thousands of cycles, providing many years of reliable operation. The system, which can be installed onto new or existing vehicles, is mounted under the chassis so that the PTM is in line with the vehicle's main drive shaft. Under normal driving, the PTM's clutch is disengaged, which means the vehicle drives normally. When the driver presses the brake pedal, the PTM's clutch engages, and the rotation of the drive shaft turns the motor, which acts as a pump, forcing hydraulic fluid into the high pressure accumulator. The effort of compressing the nitrogen filled bladder means that the pump experiences drag, which in turn retards the drive shaft, which leads to vehicle deceleration. This is hydraulic braking. The pressure in the accumulator rises during braking which is how energy is stored. A long braking event could see the pressure rising to nearly 6,000 PSI, which we call fully charged. If this level is reached, a bypass mode in the manifold ensures that hydraulic braking will continue, even though no more energy is stored. When the driver presses the accelerator pedal, the controller reconfigures the valves in the manifold, causing fluid to rush out of the accumulator under high pressure. This drives the motor, which applies torque to the drive shaft, thereby turning the wheels and assisting the acceleration of the vehicle. The effect of this torque is to reduce the load on the engine, resulting in reduced fuel use, lower emissions, and less wear and tear on the engine and other vehicle components. Naturally, a regenerative braking solution like this provides greatest benefits for vehicles which stop and start, or decelerate and accelerate, frequently during their daily operation. The energy recovery system can communicate its status and operational data remotely, which means that Lightning Hybrids offers a distinctive and customizable management interface for fleet operators. An easy-to-read dashboard shows just how much fuel the energy recovery system is saving on each vehicle in your fleet, as well as other vehicle data, such as location and status. Lightning Hybrids, a complete solution for fleet efficiency.